strongest version that's been on the beta so far. People used to think that you could have used your burst to aim your bond of life, and then use another P from the cooldown reset, and then a charge attack, and by using that, you could have gotten double bond of life. That being said, as far as I'm aware, that's never actually made it to the beta, or if it did, it was hot phase. I'm about to try to turn, and that version aside, this Even. is the strongest version. Finally, last part of her kit, from defeating an opponent with a Legend Directive, Kalina will be granted a life bond for 130% of her max HP. The way that this actually works is, this only works if you kill the enemy before using your charge attack. It also can't go over 140, even if you were to kill one enemy and then charge attack to get the bond of life from the other enemy. It wouldn't be more than 145. The main purpose of this passage is to these non-sentient Kitsune pouncing headfirst into the snow, so scavenging for food. Hmm? You'd like to see me do that? <laughs> I'm sure you would. Looking at the enemy, no bond of life. Remove it because you don't have bond of life. And without bond of life, you don't have basket of the rest 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 of the rest
quite as good in practice as it might look on paper, but it's still a pretty reasonable formulation. C4, when our Lucky Nose successfully absorbs a blood directive, available to rising a school level, will decrease by 2 seconds, and 15 energy will be restored to her. This doesn't do anything. You don't want to use it all cooled out anyway, so I'll refund the Or you can use it for Especially if you're playing a lot of 
You didn't even know this place existed either, Paimon. What was the point of doing that? We're it's still such a long way, we may as well should have just teleported already. Basically, all of them. This is trolls of the art. Hey, if you want to do a bit of eat, right? That's the 
particles, and if you, you're, you're fine. So then you can do rotations that will be a lot easier if you're doing it like this. Four more particles, and what I'm going to do here is that even if you need to do a separate rotation, we are required to do most. A lot of teams are researcher. on a the options, and so you don't even care about the person every week. Because of the ER that you get from our weapons, this does Next up, talk about our artifacts. Fragment of Har Harmonic wins 2 bees 18% of time. 4 bees, but the value of a bond of life increases the force. The character deals 18% of pain for 7 for 6 seconds max for each time. Because the value of her bond of life increases and decreases all the time. So effectively, 4% of power. That's a lot. That being said, upcoming artifact that will be released at the same time as her trees, when she comes out, won't have any more. So, well, 4 piece Swimsy is going to be her best slot, it's still useful to know what Mel is Looking at other alternatives, first one that should jump out to you from the fact that normal attack on character is 4 piece Gladiator. 4 piece Gladiator is 18% attack and 35% damage. If it wasn't for her signature set coming out, 4 piece Gladiator would have likely just been a thing you should go for. If you're watching a pre-release video from a theory crafter, I'm going to assume that you're not entirely new to the game. And if that's the case, probably have a few Vlad people. Now, is it worth to actively honor Vlad and use a strong box on Vlad try to get her a better set? Don't do that. But if you have some plus zero Vlad pieces that look promising, that are lying around right now, and you haven't leveled them because you don't have anyone Add on, you actually want to be able to play her on release rather than have the form of all set for your flavor. That's pretty good. Dogma, the other artifact yeah. in the domain, is a bird set that on release won't have too many others, which means that if you're in the stage of your account for kind of stuff farming, get one stuff, stuff farming, build it or Emerge. Right and here. And it's going to take you a while before you're ready to go and get an actual set. And a person. Vlad is a very nice thing. The gap between Vlad and her signature set, I mean, it's, it's going to depend on the team, it's going to depend on the weapon, but it goes from 35% damage to her normal attacks only, 54% damage to all of well, most of her. The main point is that it's 35 versus 54, so it's 19% for that percent, based on how much damage percent you already have. Add it's Astra. generally going to be anywhere between. Thank you for completing. Add Astra. 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 Add Ast